Hi friends, in this video I will be discussing access control system. So I am trying to take this video like part wise. So probably uh, this will be part 1 and in part 1 I will be uh, discussing the introduction to access control system. My name is Urshad Kayam and welcome to our channel IPCS Global. So introduction to access control system, okay, access control system. So what is an access control system? See previously uh, there wasn't any access control system uh, just like what we uh, do in our uh, residential purpose and all. Uh, they use normal mechanical keys and locks. So probably uh, in commercial industry and all that is uh, that will be a problem because uh, key du key duplications are possible. So in 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 a company, people will be uh, hired and people will be fired. So if a guy is fired, and uh, probably he will have a tendency to you know give some troubles to the employer. So likewise, uh, he could have a probability to take uh, duplications of the key and thereby there will be some insecurity in the uh, access, I mean uh, the system like the lock will be the, the lock need to be replaced. So that's a major problem and then comes the introduction to access control system. Here in access control system, uh, the user without the permission of the user, the admin can easily take away his permission. So that is probably uh, done by using some electronic mechanism that I will be explaining in this video. So what are the components in access control system? So I will be roughly explaining all the components in this part 1 video. Okay. So an access control system consists of mainly three components. First one is a reader. And what does, what does a reader do? So, a reader is nothing but a device that will accept all sort of uh, ID numbers. So probably a uh, uh, reader's function is to uh, ask for the ID numbers. And this is actually done by means of some other mechanism. There, there are uh, you know <coughs> different sort of uh, aspects coming under the reader that will be you know I'll be explaining in the part uh, coming parts okay so there will be a reader there will be a controller so so the reader and the controller will be uh, connected by means of some physical wires and the third one is a lock so what does each and every components do Okay, so reader will simply uh, listen for the ID numbers. So they will <clears throat> listen to the ID numbers. Okay, and what does a controller do? See, controller will decide. Okay, so so controller has to be uh, placed in a secure location you know to make the uh, system well secured and also uh, the controller's function is to uh, calibrate or you know compare the id numbers that is being given from the reader so what does uh, 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 so the, it, it is actually consist of uh, um, rfids or even digital pins or even you know biometric thumb impressions or face recognition, iris scanning, and all sort of biometric inputs can be uh, used. So this, what whatever the input is, the reader will simply, uh, you know, just give the ID number to this particular controller. So the function of the reader is quite simple. It will just, you know, ask for ask for the uh, ID number, and the the ID number that is being given from the respective inputs will be 
directly sent to the controller. And all sort of, you know, this uh, comparison or, you know, the decision making all will be done by means of this controller. So what? So controller, you know, controller, controller can be configured. So depending upon the time of the day, like, you know, uh, in holidays, even if, even, even if the, all the uh, user uh, can have the access, but in holidays or in the off days, they won't have that access. So we can simply program it or configure it in the controller by means of some software and also manually we can also uh, do this. So controller will simply compare the ID numbers and also controller will send the signal to the lock. So what does a lock do? So lock, lock simply allow or deny okay so or simply lock or unlock okay so that's it uh, lock do so if a user is already being defined and that is actually being uh, compared by means of controller this controller will allow the lock to open so this is actually done by means of a relay mechanism that will be explaining in the part 3 or part 4 okay so it's all about uh, the basic uh, introduction of access control system.